Magic Mark here alongside Joanna Rose, Soquel Val and our GM for the, well, the weekend, Richard Parker. We have had an amazing night here at the first night of the PCW Super Show 3. Show, what are your thoughts on the first match? I mean, unbelievable. I have to say, before we move on, it's, it's incredible to be back here at this at the venue. It used to be Lava and Ignite, it's now Evoke. It, it's just an amazing atmosphere. Difference, isn't it? It's such a difference. Obviously, straight away, we had that fatal four-way. Um, we've got Chris Travis, Joey Hayes, and Dean Allmark going up against Ring of Honor's Kevin Steen. I mean, what a monster Kevin Steen is, don't you think? Absolutely, and a package pile driver onto that, another man to win the match. Absolutely crazy madness. I had to shut my eyes. I really couldn't watch that. And I, I did actually wonder if Chris Travis was going to be OK. So, Calval, what was that? Oh, dear! Sorry guys, we, we do know that uh, Mark, Magic Mark does have a bit of an issue at the moment with Team Single. They really? clearly can't leave that behind, so sorry Mark. Team Single of course, victorious this evening. While Mark gets his thoughts together, I'm going to help out Joanna here. Team Single of course, victorious over the team of the bastard Dave Mastiff. Hardcore Holly and D'Lo Brown. Val, what did you think of that match? It was an amazing match and I agree totally about the intensity of Kevin Steen. I was lucky enough to see him in the Southern California region and he was amazing, but I think he's gotten even tougher, even more impressive as the years have gone by. But I have to say, I don't know if you guys heard all the rumors backstage, the dissension between Hardcore Holly and D'Lo Brown. Yeah, did you guys we, see that? We, we saw a touch of that in the ring as well. Yeah. I mean, facing off against each other in the middle of the ring when they're supposed to be tag team partners. Right. I mean, it, it really gave Team Single their moment, didn't it? It meant that they could take Absolutely. that win, take, take the win from Mark, it. Mark, you okay? I'll be fine. Next, so, oh, Rich. Sorry about that disruption, Magic Mark. Next up, we had El Ligero taking on Uha Nation. And, and before we go any further, Mark, how much do you love Uha Nation's entrance music? Ooh. Oh, I love it! <laughs> How many variations on a chant can you have just from those two syllables? Ooh ha! That's Everyone crazy. here loved Ooh ha Nation and what an incredible match it was. He's, He's amazing. So, yeah, his athleticism and the acrobatics he was able to display being the size he is. I was so impressed. So I, literally, I literally turned to the fans when I came back with the microphone and I looked at them and said, wow, at least three times because he was so impressive. I mean, this guy's definitely going places. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Another import here in PCW. And but a big win for yeah. Uha Nation. I Remember, El Ligero is a massive star here in PCW. Who knows, we may see more of Uha Nation yeah. back in PCW. I, I think so, yes. After that, we had, well, it was supposed to be, Doug, Doug Williams taking on Lionheart, but, well, Richard, why don't you take this one? Well, um, Doug isn't here. Doug failed to turn up this evening. Lionheart wanted to take the spoils and uh, leave as still your PCW champion. These people paid to see a championship match, and I was determined to give them one. So it was Lionheart versus No Amdar. And he was absolutely determined not to be in that match. I mean, he really fought against you there, uh, Richard Parker, didn't he? He really did not want to be in that match. And, no. I, and I'm so glad that you threatened to take that belt off him if he didn't quite know I'm done. Well, I was just like, going to say that. I, you know, the only thing that left for me to do was to take the belt off him. Something I was prepared to do for the sake of giving these fans the title match that they wanted. Absolutely. And I think everybody here tonight wanted to see Noam Amda come out victorious. And again, Stephen Flutter coming out to the ring, threatening to stop the What's match that? again. That I mean, was, that was weird. Yeah, but you put a stop to that as GM. And again, the, the fans are really grateful for that, I think because they really wanted to see the end of this match, but unfortunately, Lionheart's got the win there, and he's still PCW Heavyweight Champion. Yeah, no, nobody tonight is, is happy about the outcome of that match, but I think you as a general manager have done an amazing job. What, however you feel about the match, I know it's a polarizing match, and you know, some people, most people are on Noam Dar's team, but even though you don't like Lionheart, which I can't say that I do, you have to be impressed by his in-ring skills. I was so impressed with him uh, that I, I might go home and watch some YouTube videos of Lionheart. He was amazing. But both both athletes are really impressive, and I have to say I was lucky to get to see it tonight. Well, Lionheart is champion for a reason, I yes. guess. But that wasn't all, though. Remember, Joey Hayes came down to the ring looking to cash in his Money in the Bank briefcase, but Lionheart, dastardly, absolutely unacceptable behavior, you kicked the ref in the face. By the way, I can actually tell you that Des is okay. 
I've spoken to him backstage. He's a little bit woozy, but he's feeling all right. I think we know what Joey Hayes wants to do, don't we, Mark? He wants to come in here and cash in that money in the bank briefcase and win that championship. He wants to be PCW champion. Yeah. And finally, our main event. We had Jushin Thunder Liger in a PCW ring, and he took on Martin Kirby. I don't mind saying, I sat there, I watched it, and I loved every single minute of Liger versus Kirby. You weren't the only one. I think the fans were the real winners in this match. And of course, Jushin Thunder Liger is always exciting. The entrance, the the gear, everything about him is so exciting. But I have to say, even though I was on Jushin's side, very impressed with the challenger as well. Yeah, great sportsmanship between these two. Martin Kirby's a fan favourite here at PCW and a, a Japanese legend. We had another Japanese legend here a few weeks ago and it's clear that the fans really enjoy that and I'm glad we handed out those streamers at the, at the beginning of the match because it really showed that mark of respect. Yes. But this is only one third of what we've going on, got going on this weekend Crazy. at PCW. We've got two more shows to go. Tip of the iceberg. Tip as well of as, the iceberg. Yeah, and the by British the way, wrestlers. tomorrow we have Trav, Lion, uh, Trav Masters 3. Can I just tell you that I've taken the Master Lock? It is terrifying. Honestly, this is going to be something that the fans are already talking about throughout this venue tonight. It's going to be huge. Maybe third time's the charm. I guess we'll have to see. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to see if he uh, manages to get through that challenge, eh, guys? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, guys, well, we've run down the, the first night of the Super Show here tomorrow. We are going to be here live at 12.30 for the afternoon show, and in the evening, we'll be here at 6 p.m. Seriously, don't miss out. Everyone you saw here tonight is back. Liger, D'Lo Brown, Bob Holly, goodness knows who else, because you never know who's going to turn up in a PCW ring. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night.